Hi everyone, it's Athena. Welcome back to my channel. Sorry I was gone for a few days. Uh, I went out of town. I'm back. So let's get started. Okay, we are doing Tuesday today, November 12th, 2019. Okay. So, okay, so big stuff, right? 11-11 yesterday. And um, a lot of people are beginning new chapters in their life, new directions, right? So we are now getting ready, many are now getting ready to rewrite a new chapter in their book, their journey. Okay, so in our book, of self, let's say, we are only here to not make necessarily others understand us, but we're here, we're here actually to help understand ourselves. That's what the book of our life is, right? It's our journey. It's our self journey. So what is really important to to maintain a nice balance in our book of self is to watch our actions, especially with relationships to how we, you know, how do our moods affect us? Watch the moods more closely. And how are you when you're alone, right? Or how are you when you're in a crowd? How do you behave? How do you react, right? Whether your reactions are from your past or not, watching, becoming the observer, understanding that sometimes fixed patterns of thoughts are responsible for these things. So watch it all. Be mindful of every thing of your own self, right? And go watch, and watching your mind how your mind works in certain situations and how your heart works in situ situations and making sure that you always follow your heart, right? Because your heart rules. And that's what needs to be understood so that now we can open the book of self and become the unopened book so that you can write your own story. Okay. November 12th, 2019. All right, let's get started. All right, let's see what the universe wants us to know for today. Allowing us to go through a period of transformation. I'm feeling this is a transformation that many have gone through, right? The dark night of the soul, the grim reaper, etc. Taking the knowledge and moving forward. Now, some have already done this, okay? So I'm feeling this card could be actually upright for those who have been complete and done with that. We're done. And now we're ready to get started taking this knowledge, right? Because the swords are the knowledge. Taking the knowledge and the wisdom that you have attained. You are no, the, the, the dark night of the soul, let's say the rebirth now has happened and we are complete. All right. In terms of starting to, let's see, what else are we, what else do we need to know? It's, it's going through a period of self-awareness, self-knowledge, self-love. All right, so some people are learning that right now still, okay? Getting out of the darkness and into the light, knowing how much you love like yourself, right? It is about your journey. This is about journey of self. Journey of self, also journey of the love that you have for yourself and others, right? All right, let's see what else we have here. This is interesting, right? No longer taking all this knowledge and taking it out of 
do not take it out of context, I heard. It's, it's taking it into perspective. So do not take this out of context. This is good. This being all reversed is still the process, okay? The process is all happening. It's some of you, some are completing because the Ten of Swords is reversed. If the Ten of Swords was not, then I'd say that some people are still, which there could be, all right? This is collective. Could be some people still taking all the knowledge that and the hurt and the pain and transforming it, you know, transform transformation right here. However, because this is reversed, I'm feeling that the end of all of this struggle and all of this pain and all of this is now going away. And you are now taking this information and moving forward, even though this is this is coming out of the dark night, right? And into love and loving yourself. And that's what you're learning right here. Okay, this is the learning that you're taking. You're taking each sword out of your back. With each sword, it's healing and knowing that you have created the love for self through this. All right, and for others. All right, but this is really about your journey, I believe, right here. Okay, this is going into a place where you can understand how you react with yourself and how you react with others. But it is yourself looking in the mirror, right? Soul counterparts are looking in the mirror at each other, all right? It's the reflection. What is the reflection showing you? That's what this is. The transformation and the reflection of the knowledge that you have attained and now you're able to take all of those swords out of your back and use them to your highest good, right? Highest good here for your soul's growth. Yes. So that's the message. Using this information, using this, and knowing that a new chapter has begun, and now you are charging ahead in your own truth and your own knowledge. But guess what? The best part is you're protected. You're protected. You are the white horse is the truth that lies before you, within you, and around you. The, all the blue is the spirituality that now you are completely protected by the universe. Not to mention it is charging ahead with your own truth and with your own belief system of knowing how to maneuver, manipulate yourself to understand how this process of rejuvenation and rebirth happens. This is a rebirth. You're coming out of this. Look. You're taking all these swords that you were, that you took all this knowledge and you're saying, okay, one by one, I got this. And now I'm charging ahead to my own protected love, self-love. And I'm walking in my truth. I mean, there's no other way about this card. The truth is the message. Walking in your own truth is the message. And the message is for you from spirit. And knowing that you're protected, right? King of coins. Here we have a Virgo Taurus Capricorn. However, I'm not feeling this as much as, uh, as an external person. It could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn that you're dealing with, but I'm feeling this is more of this is now complete and utter healing and the quality of the soul's growth of how you're going to now charge ahead, right? You're charging ahead. You're charging ahead with the quality, a new quality of life, a higher, higher quality of life, right? A healing, a new fresh beginning, Built and based upon protection, truth, and self-love. Okay? This card reversed. This is the Ten of Cups reversed. But why is it reversed? Because whatever wasn't working, whatever wasn't working, is now being healed 
and being protected for your protection. This is for your protection. There's only one, you are protected here. You have divine protection around you as well as you have the armor, the coat of armor here and the white horse. Your truth will set you free. And this is your coming into your own now, okay? The green depicts divine love of giving and receiving, your heart being open with truth and knowledge, right? No more like feeling unworthy. This king of coins is upright. This is not unworthiness. This is complete, complete uh, uh, semblance of I am worthy. Okay, let's get some more cards on. This, this is a beautiful reading. A time where only the truth does set you free, but the truth does come from the heart and not the mind, right? Your heart needs to tell your mind. Just I'm just hearing this. Look, your heart, these are the two of cups. Your heart center needs to tell your mind I send you, I give you, I wrap love around each and every one of this painful wounds that used to matter. Now they've become knowledge. So my heart has told my, my mind that to, to wrap love around each and every one of these wounds so that they are able to heal. And as such, they do. Okay, your back, your back. It's like your back. Your back, you're moving on and you're doing it with, with great protection, great love and great light. So you, this is what happens when you have a rebirth. Your story unfolds, right? So your story now unfolds in a whole new way of self. This is all about yourself and knowing your own truth and guidance of love. Truth. There it is. Knowing your truth. What is your truth? Your truth is that your heart rules. Okay? Your heart rules the mind. Let your love rule everything. Wrap a blanket of love around each one of those those, if there is any negativity, wrap love around each and every one of those swords. The Ace of Pentacles, beautiful. We're now planting new seeds, new partnerships, new seeds. But it is a partnership, but I feel with this being, this is planting a single seed for your own self to start all over again. And look at reaping the rewards. Come on, look at this. Now abundance the harvest begins, right? It all starts now. It's a whole new chapter, a whole new life. Look at this. Rising up to the occasion because we got out of this. We have conquered fear, right? This is what it is. This is conquering fear through love, divine love and protection. Wow, that's really cool. That's awesome. So that's what's going on right now for many. The healing of the heart, the divine giving and receiving. We are ready to receive and to allow, to allow us to be lifted to a higher spiritual sense and knowledge of self, okay? Because we got rid of fear and that's the ego. So, we wrap love around the ego. Always wrap love around the ego. When you have a negative thought, turn it into a positive. When you have fear, turn it into love. Because love is all that matters. And love conquers all. I mean, right? And the king of coins is here to tell you that you have completely healed. You are abundantly ready to start whatever this is right here be it a new what is turn the page the page is already turned the book is now ready to be written 
The slate is clean. We've gone from fear-based to love, and only love wins, as you can see. Okay? So do not let fear ever take over, because we have divine protection. We are protected always. If you ever need protection, Archangel Michael is, of course, many of you know that already, but for those who don't, Archangel Michael, look, came right through here to tell you that just say a just say a prayer to Archangel Michael for divine protection and trust in heaven. Okay? I cut the deck and I feel that this is the way it needs to it needs to go because Archangel Michael came out, as well as the white eagle, which is ancestral spirit, which is your your ancestors are watching over you and making sure that you are protected as well as Archangel Michael and trusting in that, okay? Connect to your lineage, a family wound or pattern can be healed now, clearly. Clearly, there's healing here, right? A new solid base of healing Look, rebuilding self, the Kundalini, right? Clearing the way, clearing all the chakras now for a new solid foundation through the healing and letting go of all fear and knowing that you're protected and knowing that you are now, your, your truth, which is right here, this is really a beautiful reading, your truth is that you are divinely protected, loved, and now going into, you know, the, heaven has your back. Trust in it. Believe. Have faith. Right? We all have those moments where, you know, fear tries to take over, but... Not when you have that much protection and love from the other side. It just doesn't happen. So going from fear into love, into your spiritual highest self. This is your higher, higher self right here. That's your higher self. Making sure that you are guided and taken care of. It's beautiful. Have a great day.